What's up, youtube -less? EXO coming at you here, right in the middle of a messy, messy Frankenstein. We have got spare wires and stuff lingering everywhere because we are right in the middle of so much stuff with this install. It's not even funny. So I figured I'd just kind of go take the pace down a little bit and come at you guys with a slow going EXO update here. Just going through everything in Frankenstein from the subs, the alternators, the speakers, update you guys on everything in this truck, and then go back to the Ion because we've got some really surprising and awesome news uh, to share with you guys about Little Blue. Um, so I can't wait to share with you guys that at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and see how Frankenstein has fared over all these years. Let's go ahead and start by checking out the subwoofers. Good old Soundstream Triple X's from back in the day. We bought these quite a while ago and they're still kicking with our classic PSI Recones from 2011. Holy smokes! And our set from over here is from 2012. We can zoom into it right on these woofers. So we got the soft parts at different points and hey look, you can see a little bit of residue from our van paint job and a little bit of rope cock from the sealant we used around the basket at the time. Oh, good old van, that thing did us well. We got the fresh yellow sticker from last season. Let's go ahead and give her a nice tap and see if we can get some bass pumping. Oh yeah, hear that? Nice little thumpity thump. As far as the woofers are concerned, they're looking real good. Nice shiny copper coils, but we can't really zoom into that. And wouldn't you know it, these baskets look awful familiar, huh? Those almost look a little bit like the VCW baskets in my dad's blow through. If you're wondering just why these subs are a little bit off, I've never really mentioned that before, but I'm gonna explain it right now. I made these baffles all separately, and the ones for over there were just a tad bit different and I accidentally used the wrong ones. I was supposed to use this one over here. So as you can see, there's a little bit more space right there to right there. See the difference? So that baffle was supposed to be screwed down onto this piece because I made it all at once, like a big C. So that's why that looks like that. I accidentally misplaced uh, where some of my baffles were when I was originally building the damn thing. Let's back up a little bit and get one solid shot for, for the video. Mm -hmm. The wall took a hell of a long time to build, but she's still, she's still doing good. But if you take a, a quick glance right here, you can see the cracks are actually leaking some of the butyl compound from the sound deadener. The base has slowly cracked and some of that rubber is leaking through when it gets real, real hot. The tweeters are still doing real good, but wouldn't you know it, the sun has faded those bitches to look pink. It looks damn near pink, holy shit. But uh, they're holding in really well, considering you know that everything else is literally breaking apart. We got the spare wires from the 3500s. We got our uh, distribution block for our RCAs, courtesy of Scott Bowman. I removed my RPM control, and that's gonna be another little cool thing in this video. We're doing it in little blue. I'll zoom in real quick and see if we can see the cable. See that little cable right there? That's gonna help adjust the RPMs on the fly with a little lever, courtesy of Matt Lamb. He gave me a great idea with a lawnmower thing, so I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and show you the speakers. We got just a tiny little casualty right there from a little poke through on the surround. But the PWXs are still sounding good, our door pods are looking good, and believe it or not, these tens will be sufficient enough for bass. I can turn these subwoofers right off, and those tens keep up uh, with the lows just enough to keep me happy on the ride home from competitions and shit like that. Head up to the front, check out the alternators, because I've got some awesome news again. We're going over to our Raggy's house. That's right, we're gonna head up to Dom's place. Uh, he uh, messaged me on Facebook. We're gonna get this thing all cranked down with some nice tension. I'm gonna upgrade my battery, and uh, these things are looking great. It's been over four years that these things have been installed, and they're still cranking out real good. I'm telling you what, it never gets old looking at all these beautiful alternators. Mm -mm -mm. We got these ones unplugged for the time being until we can get this uh, tension nice and strong. And then going back here, we got the batteries almost ready to be rewired with our bus bars. Actually, I'll show you the bus bars, which I already re-tapped for the holes and everything like that. I have some footage of it, but I haven't even bothered reconnecting all these batteries because I don't have amplifiers and I want it to be final. I don't want to connect these all temporarily because, you know, we went through the time and made everything look pretty nice. As you can see, we got our newly uh, screwed down fuse blocks for our nicely uh, cut wire and then our fans, which we made a quick little video of, but 
you know, this pretty much where it ended right there because the amplifiers is the next step. Actually, I need to fill this tire up just the tiniest little bit. She's sagging right down there. Looking pretty good underneath here. Not much rust going on, but I don't really drive it that much. But as far as Little Blue is concerned, we have got some great news with Little Blue. We are headed to finals. I just got my invitation in the mail. We're gonna be opening that in this video. But like I was saying, here's our little uh, cable that we just ran this morning. I'm gonna have a whole video on that as well. We're gonna connect it somehow, jerry-rig it right here. We're gonna probably have to group, uh, screw into the plastic. Just the tiniest little bit right there. And then this will be able to pull the um, cable right along with it so it should be pretty easy but I'll be sure to include that in a video so yeah there's little blue still sitting on the two Contralto 18s let's get a little nice look at those I'm telling you what guys these are one of the best sounding woofers I've ever had especially for 18s they keep up with everything I can throw to them they friggin hammer and I feel like I didn't really explain this well enough in my other Q&A video. I did answer why this cone looks like this. When I originally reconed these subwoofers, UPS damaged the damn cone. And uh, Crescendo was nice enough to send me a free, a free replacement. So when I re reconed with that replacement, I totally fucked up and left my photos in there. So I had to totally rip it out and end up using the one that they uh, sent the replacement for, which was the one that UPS damaged. I had tons of pictures. I was really fucking bummed out about it because it's really not too bad. It's just really cosmetic at this point as you can see It's just a little bit delaminated right there and a little bit bent right there. Nothing crucial It still does the job and they sound awesome. I mean hell 154.6 I'm really happy with those results especially for how little power we have on it right now There's the amplifiers and uh, there's my battery. It looks like absolute shit, but but don't judge me It's just temporary. There's no sense in going through all the trouble and making something temporary look beautiful. So we got this thing, you know, the two amplifiers uh, wired at two ohm separately. They're both wired at two ohm. But we're definitely gonna make things look a lot better back here once we get the uh, crescendo amplifiers. We're gonna have all kinds of wood grain and it's gonna look real, real nice. And we're gonna have the, obviously the Amp Lab lithium battery back there as well as in Frankenstein. We got all sorts of stuff in store with Little Blue but can you believe it? We actually qualified for finals this year. That's right, we're gonna be hitting the competition, going to finals at NADBL over there and uh, I think Syracuse, New York, no, 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 Brewerton, New York. It's a long journey from here, so we're gonna be staying the night at a hotel, bringing my girl, and yeah, we're gonna be competing in the lanes right there with you guys with Little Blue on just these two 18s. We'll hopefully do pretty well. I'm gonna be doing the music class and uh, the SPL class, which is obviously gonna be putting me in elite now because of my uh, headliner. I don't have that, I got some modifications. All right, here's the big moment, guys. We got the invitation right here from the organization, NADBL, North American Decibel League. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy. Oh man, there it is, NADBL. You guys probably remember my last time opening something like this from TNESBL, yeah. Here it is, 2016 North American Decibel League Invitation. That's awesome, guys. Let's go ahead and read it for you. First and foremost, thank you for your support, hard work, and valuable time in making this season such a success. It would not have happened without competitors and friends like you giving up time and hard-earned money to achieve a common goal. With that being said, you have earned yourself an invitation to compete in the 2016 championship event for NADBL, being held September 25th, 2016. I can't freaking wait, guys. Basically, I need to send over the registration fee, which is gonna be 175 bucks for both formats. That's not bad for a championship event like this. $175 for the good man himself for competing in such an awesome organization. We get to use any music that we like, our favorite music. And I'm gonna add a special little note saying, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So having a organization like NADBL has helped us a lot. So let's go ahead and send it now. Bam, bam, shlibbity bam. Right there, check it out. North American Decibel League. Fucking, we are ready to go, you tubulous. And that's all she wrote. I am so excited. Let's open this door. Holy shit, it is piping hot in here. I can't wait to get this thing to finals. Let's take one more good look at it, guys. It's all coming together. I can't wait to get Frankenstein running. But in the meantime, we've got this thing. It's doing us real good. 
and we still get to enjoy going to a championship event this season. So I'm, I'm really glad that I was able to use my dad's amplifiers, even though he had to steal the fucking three Ks. Ha <laughs> ha! That's all right. We gave him some 1200s, right? So thanks for watching this video, guys. This, you know, long, probably a little extended EXO update, but we had a lot to talk about, and there's always stuff to talk about in car audio. So until the next video, guys, uh, be sure to stay on the lookout because we've got much more in store. I'm gonna show you guys about, oh, you can't even see me right now. We've got uh, some new stuff with this LCD screen. We've got some, uh, you, know, you know, some stuff in store in that box. We've got some, some stuff to do. So that's basically what I'm trying to say. I can't even talk right now. But until the next video, guys, this is EXO signing out. <laughs>